Spencer. Happy February. I can't believe those words are actually coming out of my mouth. But we're here, 2016, right? February. I hope you're all doing well. I have no reminders uh, to, to reference to you, just uh, someone arising if you, if you want. I'm not telling you what to do, but they're out there if you need. Um, again, guys, this is General. Thank you so much for all your comments also. That really helps me um, to know that, you know, we're doing good or we need to course correct. Or it, really, it really helps me help you, so I greatly appreciate that. I know that it takes time sometimes to leave comments, but I greatly appreciate them. Okay, so I'm going to rising. Uh, again, these are general. If you need something more specific, just reach out to me. I'll be more than happy uh, to clarify anything for you. Okay, let's see here. Okay. All right, nice. Okay, a little bit going on. Uh, nothing that you can't handle um, with compassion for yourself, okay? The overall energy is the Queen of Cups, okay? She's about nurturing. Uh, she's, the, um, she's the energy of, you know, always the open-armed welcome. That's, that's the overall energy here. Sensitive, gracious, kind, um, that could be you or someone in your life, but I really think it's just the overall energy here, too, which is wonderful. Um, the focal card is the Page of Wands. That is a free spirit, new possibilities. This is uh, someone who learns by doing. Um, this card really speaks of get out and try something different. Um, uh, find your own voice, and that seems to be a common thread uh, for this month's reading. The other common thread for this reading, and I'm getting it again, is um, keep your what you're looking to do um, kind of under wraps for the moment. You may meet a little bit of resistance, which... Um, could very well knock you off your path. So that's all I'm saying is just uh, keep the course that you're going. Just You may want to just keep the details under wraps yet. The near past card, you've got the three of wands. You're going places. Um, this is about foresight, enterprise, planning. This is about uh, starting to do the walk to get things done. Um, you can see the panoramic view from where you are of how this is going to play out. Just again, uh, maybe keep the details to yourself just for now. I don't know why I'm getting that, but just trust me on that. Um, the present uh, circumstance card is the strength card. She's sitting next to the Wheel of Fortune. I'm going to say know thyself and I think that's what this is really all about um, trust in the universe be patient uh, things are aligning here this is a card of fortitude also this is a card of um, not feeding into the outside drama that goes on around you you uh, aren't going to do that anymore you're just, it's not worth your time, your energy, and you realize that the effort that you put towards feeding into that, even if it's just listening to it, is sucking you dry, and you're just not going to do it anymore. Uh, the near future card is the Wheel of Fortune. Things are turning in your favor now. Things are going to be getting better. Um, it's, a, it's a universal shift. It's nothing you even have to do. The universe is now aligning with where you are. That's why I know you're going somewhere. Um, and once we start that forward movement, I told you guys the universe will just caboose us and, and send us on our way. You deserve this, too. This is, this is a, a culmination of years of things coming together. The obstacle card, and it's, it's just showing up here to tell you that... Uh, it's the Ten of Swords. It's that the, 
the bad times are over. The, the struggling times are over. This card looks horrific, but it's the end of it all. And if you don't see the end right this second, it's surely coming for you. Um, and I think that's why it's showing up in the obstacle position, because you just can't quite see this yet. But it's right here in the very near future. Okay. The blessing card are these challenges that you're having to go through right now. You are um, fighting for the things that are important for you, and you're not compromising. You uh, just know what you want, period. It's non-negotiable for you. So, um, I also think that you're opening the door inadvertently to a new relationship. Um, I see love at the end of this tunnel here for you, too. Uh, Self-confidence, okay? You've got it. That's, I think, too, I didn't even see this card when I said that to you. Keep things under wrap right now. You are making big steps for yourself, and you're doing it on blind faith, and you are going in the right direction. My concern was that someone's going to shoot you in the foot. Uh, people don't realize the power in words, and I think that you're, you're just over far enough where it's, you know, you're on the fence. You may end up coming back. That's what I'm saying. Keep this, keep this to yourself here. Have more confidence in what you're doing. Um, you can do this. You're in the home stretch. This card speaks of a few more hurdles to overcome. You're there, you know. Um, what you're fighting for is worth what you're fighting for. You deserve this. And the universe is telling you you deserve this. So trust in yourself. Have enough self-confidence in yourself that you can do this. Okay? Um, You've got a lot of young energy around you, too, which means that you're looking at things with bright eyes, with new eyes, which is wonderful. Um, sometimes we need to unlearn things so that we can learn things, and that's wonderful. Okay. The outcome card is the Page of Wands. I'm sorry, Page of Swords. Okay. Um, this is someone who... Uh, He's crisis management, so to speak. Um, he's ready for anything. This is someone, this is also someone that brings messages. Like I say, pay more attention to the content than the delivery. He can be a bit uh, uh, with the tongue there. The delivery isn't so wonderful. This is someone who is just more brash than uh, not. But that's okay. It's just how they are. The message is what you're, you're looking to get here. And I think it's someone who uh, helps you on this way. It doesn't need to be a young person. It's just someone uh, who may come to you and ask for advice on something, and it, it just uh, puts all this into perspective. Um, you know, that yes, you are going the right way. Um, and that's wonderful. The theme throughout this, because this is big, is to remember to be kind to yourself, okay? Um, surround yourself. You've got enough stability here with uh, strong energies that you're not going to get thrown off your course. I'm just giving you worst case scenario what to be aware of in case you're confronted by that. Um, words can be, uh, they do pack quite a wallop. And when we're on uh, already treading, uh, on unfamiliar territory. It just takes something like that. Um, and I would hate to see you lose all of this. But I don't think you will. Okay. The Ten of Swords, remember I said, it only looks horrific in the obstacle position. It is the, the ending coming. You have peace sitting right next to that. So assured, it's coming. And your talents are recognized. I see travel around this too. You may be uh, having to move for this. And wealth is there. You're fighting for something that's important, and you do you do reap the reward from this. You sometimes need to play the troubleshooter, and I think that that's what you're doing here in a nutshell. And the lover's card came up. I, I knew that uh, there would be somehow a love relationship in here. Um, 
That's lovely. If you're already in a current relationship, just know that this is going to be knocked up a notch. It won't be the same after this. Um, but either way, that's lovely. And in the outcome, you've got the Fool card. It's uh, taking a leap of faith. So you do it with diligence. You're working hard at this. And I think a friend helps you here. I think that uh, this relationship may be someone that starts out as a friend, um, but then turns into something else. I do see anxiety around this. That's okay. This is spiritual growth, like I said. Um, forgive yourself for past mistakes also, okay? Um, we get there when we get there, period. Don't let anyone tell you differently. This is all about growth for you. The Wheel of Fortune comes with wisdom and love again. You've learned some pretty hard lessons here. I see a good home life around uh, breaking through barriers. Uh, I see you making strides. The strength card is coming up around the home. So you're building a stronger foundation for yourself, which is lovely. I think a relationship may have ended badly here, but you do have happiness now. And this relationship is going to be one that's balanced. It's going to be two holes make a whole, not uh, a codependent relationship. So rest assured that everything that you're working hard towards, this person is going to contribute to that. You're not going to have to uh, get sidetracked by something. This will be someone who aligns with you perfectly and you help each other. Yep. Okay. And you gain some, some good wisdom here. I think there were some storms here. Uh, and rightfully so. We don't really get clear sailing when we're changing directions this massively. Um, but you've, you know, you've weathered it. You've grown it. You realize it's, you know, spiritual growth here. And you, you're trusting in yourself. That's the only thing. Please remember, if nothing else you take away from this, just um, have some self-confidence in yourself. You can absolutely do this. Okay? All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. This looks monumental. Please let me know how this pans out. Uh, I love readings like this, and, again, I'm seeing the common thread through this month, and I could not be happier. Um, like I had said in our Januaries, we kind of need to just get through this, through the January residual of last year, and now we're picking up the pace. I see everybody just really um, leaving behind the things that are just superficial, and we really know what we value right now, and that's – us and our time and uh, the things that are important. Okay? Have a wonderful February. Thank you so much. I hope I helped you in some way. If you need something more specific or some clarity, please reach out to me via my website. I'll be more than happy to look at anything for you. Okay? Thank you so much. I appreciate your time and your comments. Thank you.